Since Temu launched in the United States, it became a big threat to Amazon. From the beginning, Temu has been crushing the market with cheap prices. It gained so much popularity in a very short time. Last year, it was the most downloaded e-commerce app in the USA. Yes, you heard that right. As a result, tension arises on Amazon. Experts are saying this could be uh, the end of the big giant Amazon. So, what's the reason behind Temu's rapid success? Basically, it ships directly from the factories to the customers. And there is no middleman, no customs duty or any extra fees. That's why they can offer much cheaper prices than Amazon sellers. Here you can see on Amazon, the price of this item is $31. But you'll find the similar items on Temu just for $8, almost four times cheaper. Without a doubt, shoppers will tend to buy their cheaper one. Yet Temu takes longer delivery time, but many shoppers are okay with it if they can purchase um, it cheaper. Those are the main reasons behind Temu's success within this short time. As a result, a lot of Amazon shoppers moved into Temu. And it has the biggest challenge Amazon is facing recently. After that, Amazon needed to come up with a good plan to stay at the number one. And the interesting thing is, it was not sitting idle all these days. Now, Amazon um, has revealed a plan that can reverse the whole scenario. Now, Amazon is planning to launch a business model similar to Temu and Shane, offering low price products that will ship directly from the factories. And it will allow Chinese sellers to make this happen. There will be no middleman and no extra fees. It's being told this counter strategy um, can crush down competitors like Temu and Shane. Because with the help of Chinese sellers, Amazon will offer cheaper prices. Shoppers don't need to browse another website like Temu to save money. But what will happen to Amazon FBA sellers? Sellers like you and me are greatly rely on suppliers from China and fulfilled by Amazon. We need to pay all the FBA fees plus taxes and customs duty. In this case, as a seller, you will find it really hard to compete the price with the Chinese sellers. They will simply make a um, copy of your item and list it at a lower price. And shoppers will find the cheaper alternatives on the same website. So you can say sellers are in trouble how they can survive this situation. Is this the end of FBA sellers? We will find out. But before that, let's break down the new plan a little more. Amazon plans to launch a new section on the site dedicated to the low price fashion and lifestyle items that will allow Chinese sellers uh, to ship directly to the United States. First of all, Chinese sellers don't need to pay taxes to deliver something to the United States if the box uh, is less than $800. Of course, it takes more delivery time, but you know what? Most of the shoppers are happy with the late delivery if the price is very cheap. Now, Amazon is planning to introduce the exact same strategy to counter Temu's uh, dominance according to the CNBC. Amazon will ship the products directly from China to the United States with the goal of delivering them uh, to shoppers within uh, 9 to 11 days. It says the arrangements will be cost-saving for the sellers in China and merchants would be able to test new items through a small batch production. Shane uses a similar model, which is uh, on-demand manufacturing, producing a limited quantity and manufacturing more as demand increases. Keep it in mind that Amazon's mission is to make its own profit. They don't care whether it comes from the Chinese sellers or from sellers like us. Then what should sellers do to win against those cheap items? What should be the strategy? Will Amazon come up with something for them? I hate to say Amazon sellers are in trouble, but the real concern should be how they can fight back. Uh, with this new plan, sellers might lose the market. But this is just the one angle of the whole story. Now let's have a look from the another angle. The plan clearly says uh, this is for fashion and lifestyle items only. So for many sellers, they have to rethink their product portfolio. If you are selling generic products, then you, you are in the trouble. Rather, you should think of a product that cannot easily um, be sold from China. Basically, China can copy any product to sell, but they can't make a product personalized specifically for your customers. So the sellers should focus uh, more on personalization. Another thing to consider, Amazon is doing this uh, for low-end customers uh, who usually prefer Temu over Amazon. But as a seller, you should target the high-end customers. Uh, you'll find so many videos on YouTube. Customers are very disappointed by the cheap products from Chemo. So the same thing will happen for Amazon as well. Uh, Chinese sellers may get good one-time sales. But with good quality products and better customer services, you can win the long game. Uh, also, people like to rely on the brands. If you have a great brand, your customer will not buy from the other unknown sellers. So I think there is not much to worry if you have a good quality product with a great brand, have a perfect uh, marketing strategy and 
top notch customer services. It is unclear when Amazon tends to launch the new storefront, but indications say it will start to fall. The plan is in um, its beginning stage. Nothing is uh, confirmed yet, but when it happens, um, let's hope for the best. That's all. Now, what do you think about this new plan? How are you planning to fight against it? Write me in the comment. I'll try to reply on um, each of your questions. This is Mortuja from Ecom Clips signing out today. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe. And most importantly, subscribe to our channel Ecom Clips. Thank you.